Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to put a party switcher script into RPG Maker XP. What this script will do is allow you to choose four people from the characters you have gotten in the game, and from those four people, they will do all the battling, leveling up, and gaining XP. So, first off, you need to download the script. I'll provide a link in the description. For now, you can just put it off to the side. Then open up your RPG Maker. And you can either create a new game or load a previous one. For now, I'll load a previous one because uh, there's some extra work behind it that I've done that I've covered in a different tutorial. Don't worry, I'll put a link in the video so you can watch that one. But for now, you just go to the script editor, scroll down to main, right click it, and insert. You just call it the party switcher. Go back to your script, highlight it all, or control A, then copy, and paste it in. So now that we actually have the script in here we want to add it so uh, so we can access it from the menu um, in the previous tutorial I've showed you how to add extra slots in the menu and now we're gonna actually make use of those slots I'll pr don't worry I'll provide a link to that video so for now we go to scroll up to scene party underscore change just highlight it all, copy, and go to the scene menu. Now, from the previous tutorial, you'll see that I still have the things that I added in. So now, since we want to add it to the party, so when we look at it, it should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So when we scroll down to here, we're going to see 0, 1, 2, 3, Four, and then five. This will be our uh, party switching script. So under the the five here, we'll see scene equals scene end dot new. We want to take out the scene end and replace it with scene party change dot new. So then we'll apply and OK. And this is what it should look like at the moment. So when we press escape, we'll see that we have extra slots, and if we click party, we have the script. So now we can, this is the four members in our party, so if we want to take a Basil out, just click him, and he goes there, so now we have a three man party. If you want to add him, just go to the empty spot and select him. There can be many people in this column here, but if we X out of this, you notice we go to the map. Now, what we really want is to be going back to this menu. So we, uh, we should go to the party switcher script. Then we'll scroll all the way down. And then we'll see this section here. On line 437. It'll say scene equals scene map dot new. Now we don't want it to go to the map when we press escape. We want it to go to the menu. So let's just replace the map with menu dot new. But since we also want it highlighted over party when we go back, we'll just put in brackets five because it's the fifth one down. So then when we exit, it should be back to the menu and highlighted over party. So this should be your final result of putting this script in. So if we press escape, we'll go down, we'll select party, and then we come here. So we can make all our arrangements, and we can press escape, and we go back to the menu, it's highlighted over party, and we can choose whatever we want again. And that's really all there really is to the script. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed.